Welcome to our lecture online. Now the next exercise will be to take the sine of four times the angle and write in terms of sines and cosines of a single angle. Again, we're going to use the identity of the sum of angles. For example, we're going to write this as the sine of 2 theta plus 2 theta. Okay, when we do that, we use the following identity. We can write this as the sine of 4 theta is equal to of course, the sine of the sum of two angles is equal to the sine of the first angle times the cosine of the second angle plus the cosine of the first angle times the sine of the second angle. And that means that this is equal to two times the sine of two theta times the cosine of two theta. All right. So that means that each one of those can be written as a sum of two angles. So this can be written as two times the sine of theta plus theta times the cosine of theta plus theta. And again, we use the identity of the sum of two angles. And so this becomes equal to two times. This becomes the sine of the first angle times the cosine of the second angle plus the cosine of the first angle times the sine of the second angle of course, in this case, the two angles are equal, so it's the same. Multiplied times, here we get the cosine of theta times the cosine of theta minus the sine of theta times the sine of theta. All right, simplifying that just a little bit, we can write this as two times, two times the sine of theta cosine of theta multiplied times here we can write as the cosine square of theta minus the sine square of theta. And now we probably want to just multiply those out and see what we get. So this is equal to 4 times the sine times the cosine times the cosine square. So this becomes the sine of theta times the cosine square of theta. And then minus here we get, uh, let's see, oh, no, that's not square, that's cube, isn't it? It's cube of theta, cosine times cosine squared. And here we get minus 4 times, we get uh, sine cube of theta times the cosine of theta. So now we, we could leave it like this, or we could do a little mathematical trick. What we're going to do is we're going to replace this right here. So this can be written as 4 times the sine of theta times the cosine of theta times the cosine square theta, which can be written as 1 minus the sine square of theta. So I took the cosine cube of theta and wrote, a, wrote it as the product of the cosine of theta times the cosine square of theta, which could be, then be rewritten as 1 minus the sine square of theta. And then this remains at minus 4 times the sine cube of theta times the cosine of theta. So now when I multiply this out, I get 4 times the sine of theta times the cosine of theta minus 4 times the sine times the sine squared, which is the sine cube of theta times the cosine of theta. And then here we have minus 4 times the sine cube of theta times the cosine of theta. Now realize that you could not have imagined that that might be the case that it would end up like this. So we could have just simply left it like that and that would have been fine. But it can be written a little bit simpler by now combining those two terms. And so this now becomes 4 times the sine of theta times the cosine of theta minus 8 times the sine cube of theta times the cosine of theta. And that's in general uh, considered to be the identity for the sine of 4 theta. There we go. And that is how it's done.